This video should provide you with everything you need to know for the reason why we use 92 and a quarter inch wall framing studs or seven foot eight and a quarter inch wall framing studs for walls that are going to be eight foot tall. Or should I say for a wall that is going to have an eight foot and three quarter inch overall height. And by the time you're usually done framing, it's about eight foot one tall. And the reason why you're not just going to grab eight foot wall framing studs to build a wall for your building is usually going to have something to do with the drywall and the exterior siding or shear panel and whether or not these materials will work effectively for your project. So the first thing I want to point out is that if you are using half inch thick drywall for the ceiling, then there's a good chance this is going to take a half of an inch out of the overall height of our wall framing. Now bringing us to about eight foot and a quarter inches in between the bottom of the ceiling drywall and the top of our floor, or in this case, the top of our stem wall. So again, the overall wall framing height is going to be around eight foot and three quarter inches. And we've just subtract a half inch from that overall distance. And then when we install two sheets of drywall that are four foot wide, we're usually going to end up with a quarter of an inch at the bottom. And of course, this won't be a big deal and won't always be a quarter of an inch this gap might be larger or smaller. So again, the 92 and a quarter inch wall framing studs allow us to use two four foot wide pieces of drywall installed horizontally or one four by eight piece of drywall installed vertically. But that's not going to be the case if we use eight foot tall wall framing studs, this is going to leave a gap at the bottom of the drywall. And I'm not about to suggest this is a big deal. To an engineer, this might be a big deal, who is planning on using the drywall for some type of shear value and doesn't want to see a small piece of drywall installed at the bottom or in the middle or at the top. And let's not forget that you can usually purchase different materials. You can purchase wider drywall and longer drywall if needed, along with exterior shear panel if you need it for your wall framing. So, for example, I could always buy a 9 foot or a 10 foot tall piece of shear panel that is going to be 4 foot wide to solve my problem if I need that. However, it's going to cost more money. So this is the reason why we don't use eight foot long wall framing studs. And instead we use 92 and a quarters to create a wall that's going to be about eight foot tall.